And welcome back to the couch. And now I've got Tom Conway with me. Tom, you're from just over the barrier there, working with IBM, and uh, yeah. um, you're, you're the research person for IBM. Um, so we were just talking before the camera switched on about the fields of research you're doing. Um, mm. Would you like to explain a little bit more about the um, research IBM is involved with, and you in particular? Yeah, so IBM actually has uh, a very large number of researchers around the world, uh, but in the lab in Australia, which is where I'm from, we have uh, sort of three streams of research in health. Uh, there is stuff about genomics, which is my field, which is around DNA sequencing and how we interpret the sequence data that we get. Uh, there's actually some stuff about image analytics and trying to use uh, computers to help diagnose melanoma accurately. And there is stuff about optimization. So, you know, how can we schedule elective surgery to use uh, the hospital more efficiently and stuff like that. But in the, oh sorry. No, no, sorry, I was just thinking, yeah. uh, forgive me, with the genomics. So, so mm. now is that um, a sort of a, a screening sort of thing? Um, where you, we, we, we heard yesterday a mouth swab and, uh, and then a, 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 a whole load of risk factors sort of, is that the type of thing? Actually, we're dealing with a, a different kind of thing where our main focus is actually to do with uh, pathogens, uh, bugs that make people sick and uh, we want to actually understand the relationships between them so that if you and I both get sick with salmonella, we want to know is it the same salmonella that's come from a common source or is it actually just bad luck uh, that we've both got it independently. So there's a public health angle in that and also um, uh, antimicrobial resistance. Think superbugs. Uh, if we have um, if we're both in hospital and we acquire a, a hospital-acquired infection, is it the same? Have we both got it from the same nurse? Uh, have our visitors brought in different bugs that have made us sick? And so on, because that can really help the infection control within the hospital. Right, right, excellent. And so um, people are talking about the um, pre-antibiotic era, the antibiotic era, and now it's, it's been more and more talked about the post-antibiotic era. And, uh, yeah. Um, so um, are, are, are you preparing for that or are you postponing it? Uh, well, so an area of interest uh, that we're, we would like to work on, it's, it's maybe right on the edge of the curve where it's an ambitious idea, but is about how we can use different antibiotics at different times to try and slow down uh, the emergence of resistance. That maybe actually if we do some advanced modeling uh, with uh, some of our mathematical people who do epidemiological modeling uh, and use some of the biology that we learn by studying how the resistance works in the genetics that perhaps we can uh, find that if we use this one for this amount of time and then another one for a different amount of time, that perhaps we can uh, slow down the, the uh, or, or defer the emergence of the post-antibiotic era. Nicely put. So five years from now, your mm. average standard clinician, what will he be doing differently five years from now as a result of the IBM research? Uh, I, w I think we will be seeing uh, every bug that uh, you see in the hospital being sequenced and we will be getting a really uh, beautiful picture of how it's working so that we can intervene and do better infection control. I think people will be getting the right antibiotics straight away rather than having to try one and then try another um, and that will hopefully reduce hospital acquired infection deaths. Mm. Uh, I don't know New Zealand figures or Australian figures actually but in the US, it's about 100,000 deaths a year wow. due to hospital-acquired infection, and you know, reducing that even by a bit would be pretty nice. That is an amazing statistic, isn't it? Yeah. Good, good on you. That, that, that's, uh, that's awesome. Have you got quite a big team over there? How many of you are there? So in, in my team, there is uh, a, about eight of us, and right. in the genomics, there's, uh, I think, about a similar number in each of the other teams. Right. The, the lab is working up uh, I think we, we have a target of uh, 150 researchers and they're all people with PhDs um, in a variety of backgrounds, mostly um, computer science, 
um, software engineering, um, so electrical engineering, engineering your, maths. Your, your um, I think by the end of, the uh, no, middle of next year, we should be at 159. So you mentioned genomics, and that's not your field of research. Um, what, is, what is your No, genomics is, oh, is, is mine. So Although my, my PhD was theoretical computer science, uh, but now I do biology. Yeah, well done. I'm sure that marries in very well indeed. So, it, it does surprisingly well, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good on you. So, um, look, congratulations on your research, and, uh, and I think we'll all go and um, watch it very closely. And uh, five years from now, I'll look forward to sequencing everything I've got wrong with me. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be great. Yeah, good. God bless you. Thank, look, you, thank very you very much, Janine. Thank you. Take care.